Welcome to Acromag's product and application presentation on the BusWorks Ethernet Digital I.O. Model 989EN. We would like to take this opportunity to acquaint you with the applications, features, and benefits of the 989EN Ethernet Discrete I.O. Module. The topics of this presentation includes highlighting the differences between the commercial grade and the industrial grade models, featuring the applications, industries, or markets that could benefit from the products, Overviewing the features, benefits, I.O. connections, and web configuration for the units. And provide information for quick support along with a link to a live 989EN demo unit that can be accessed from the internet for viewing and demonstration purposes. The 989EN is offered in two basic models, industrial grade and commercial grade. Model number 989EN-4016 is an industrial grade discrete I.O. device that includes 16 channels of discrete I.O.s that can be used in any configuration of inputs and outputs. The I.O. can also be used as configurable counters, timers, and alarms. Additionally, it is designed for extended operating temperatures of minus 40 to 65 degrees Celsius. The 989EN industrial grade instrument is designed to meet CE, UL, CUL, Class 1, Division 2 hazardous locations and designed to meet ATEX Zone's two approvals for European hazardous location requirements. The model 989EN-4C16 commercial grade instrument is simply a basic 16-channel Ethernet discrete I.O. module. It does not include any counters, timers, alarms, or hazardous location approvals. The continuous operating temperature for the 4C16 unit is rated at 0 to 55 degrees Celsius. This unit is ideal for OEMs, commercial and light industrial markets and industries. The applications for these devices are widespread and cross many markets. Industrial applications include using this Ethernet appliance for reliable, discrete monitoring of temperature, pressure, level, flow, and speed switches that you'll find on engines, compressors, boilers, furnaces, or a variety of applications within the process and SCADA markets. Pulse monitoring and totalizing to non-volatile backup memory for power, water, and gas utility meters. Cycle counting, duty monitoring on pumps, motors, or machines. Imagine having a critical pump or machine with a nominal life cycle of 100,000 operations and being able to count the cycles, view over Ethernet at any time, and trip a local alarm for planned maintenance, shutdown, or changeover. Also imagine knowing the frequency or duty of your pump to determine how hard it's working and being able to control your process accordingly through a DCS, PLC, or PC. Other markets include automation such as material handling using proximity or pressure switches, critical alarm systems, valve solenoid control, or simply 5 volts, 12 volts, 24 volts DC battery monitoring and control systems. Commercial applications include using the 989EN as auxiliary, discrete I.O. for remote audio-visual control and video security, surveillance, and RFID systems. It can be used within IT cabinets to remotely monitor, reset the servers, or to simply detect if the cabinet door is opened or closed. The low-cost commercial I.O. device is ideal for OEMs within markets such as semiconductor manufacturing, building automation, HVAC, and automotive. Other applications and markets include motor control center monitoring and test equipment manufacturing. The 989 industrial grade product offers a long list of features and benefits. First, it includes 16 channels of discrete I.O. available in any mix of inputs or outputs. With this device, you could have one input and 15 outputs, or four inputs and 12 outputs, or eight and eight, or use exclusively as 16 in or 16 out. No jumpers or registration configuration is needed. Since the input-output circuitry is populated on every channel, all channels are always inputs, unless you choose to write to an output and turn it on. In addition to being highly flexible, this device offers increased reliability by allowing you to physically read back any output channel without the need to wire it to a separate input channel externally. Each channel includes built-in wetting current generators. This feature allows the 989EN to excite dry contacts and extend their usable life with the ability to cut through oxidation that can build up on contacts and cause failure. 
The 989EN is a completely solid state device with no mechanical moving parts. It can sense or switch dry contacts, proximity number switches, and support 5 volts, 12 volts, or 24 volts DC logic systems. Change of state input detection is available for all 16 channels. This means that momentary push buttons would be wired to all channels and the host system can read a special Modbus register to detect if changes occurred between polling cycles ideal for triggering or stopping processes. 832-bit configurable up-down counters and alarms are available. The counters will totalize and store data to non-volatile backup memory. So, if the power is lost and returns, the important count values will remain. No batteries are used and will ever be needed to be changed. Counters can handle frequency up to 200 Hz without missing any pulses. Applications involving totalization from mechanical relays, however, typically only need frequency inputs of 10 Hz or less in most cases. Each counter channel also has the ability to report the time period for the last pulse measured. This effectively the frequency for the last pulse. The timer registers are 16 bits and read between 1 and 65,535 milliseconds. In other words, each channel can read frequencies between 0.02 Hz and 200 Hz rates with 1 millisecond resolution. For test stands or fail-safe shutdown systems, Acromag offers two important features. One would be the programmable power-up condition registers allow the user to program the state of the outputs upon a power-up condition. And secondly, all outputs are under watchdog timer control and, if configured, the user can program outputs to hold last value, go high, or go low in the event of a network communication loss to the module. All, all 989EN devices support Ethernet, Modbus, TCP, IP protocol are of it and are available from stock and carry a five-year warranty. This slide shows a simplified circuit diagram of the 989EN units. It's provided here to simply illustrate three things. First, if you look at number one, all it shows that all I.O. channels have surge suppression technology built in. Number two, labeled Ethernet, um, 10 100 port includes built-in surge suppression and safety isolation from the rest of the circuit. And number three, the power circuit also in includes built-in surge suppression and safety isolation from the other circuits. This design offers three-way isolation between power, network, and I.O and it includes built-in electrical fast transient and electrical surge suppression technology on all channels and ports. This diagram shows the electrical connection to a very commonly used normally open dry contacts or proximity type switches. In the simplified diagram, you'll notice the programmable wetting current sources that are mentioned previously. In the event of a broken wire to the normally open switch, the wetting current sources will act like build up, pull up resistor so the loop will not float. This diagram shows the electrical connection for the normally closed dry contacts or proximity type switches where the power is wired to one side of the switch sensor. In the event of a broken wire to the normally closed switch, the 989EN offers programmable pull down current sources so the loop will terminate to zero volts and not float. In this wiring example, the 989EN solid state FET output is being shown as a low side switch that is controlling an incandescent lamp or LED indicator circuit. The 989EN has an easy to use built in web pages for browser configuration. By reviewing this network configuration page and starting in the mid section of the screen, you'll notice several things. The 989EN can be used for static IP addressing, dynamic DHCP addressing, or dynamic addressing with fallbacks to static IP if DHCP fails. In the upper right hand corner, each 989EN can support up to five Modbus sockets or sessions at one time. This is a programmable number between one and five, and it means that up to five masters can talk with the device at the same time. If security to the device is critical, this number can be reduced to eliminate anyone beyond the controller from accessing the device via MyBus TCP IP. Lastly, the 989EN offers programmable port numbers for talking with the device. 
Port 502 is the standard or common port that is used on all Ethernet, Modbus, TCP, IP communication systems. However, having this feature allows integrators or developers to communicate with the product using ports other than 502 if it's needed for security or other reasons. This page shows the flexible configuration settings for the 16-channel discrete I.O. device. In the first column, you'll see the wedding, that the wedding current sources can be set to 2 milliamps or 16 milliamps. When setting to 16 milliamps, the inputs act will actually send 16 milliamps into the dry contacts or logic switch for 20 milliseconds when a short is detected. After 20 milliseconds, the current will fold back to 2 milliamps continuously. As mentioned earlier, this feature is ideal for extending the life of dry contacts that can fail due to oxidation buildup. When the input tri-state setting is set to on, the current sources are gated off and the discrete inputs act as traditional high impedance logic gates. Other notable settings on this page include programmable watchdog timer and output states for fail-safe outputs, programmable power-up states for the outputs, and several settings relating to open load detection, short fault protection, and the ability to shut down or retry the outputs in the event of an overvoltage condition or thermal short. This page shows how easy it is to configure each of the eight available counter timer channels. Settings include counter enable or disable, count direction as up or down, positive or negative edge detection for counting, the ability to start the counter at the last value or at a preloaded count condition, the ability to tell the up-down counter to roll over or stop when the end count is reached, the ability to, to enable an alarm when the end count is reached for the channel. Note, counters on channels 1 through 8 have the ability for one local alarm, each on channels 9 through 16 respectively. And each channel has the programmable debount setting to eliminate false counts that can occur when sensing the switching on mechanical relays. Debounce times can range from 1 millisecond to 65 seconds. Lastly, because the counter offers registers that report the period of the last pulse, this page allows you to set a group timer limit and value that will be used if the pulse duration goes too long and a shutdown is assumed. For example, if you're monitoring your pump and you know that the duration beyond 10 seconds means it's off, then you can set the timer limit to 10 seconds and limit value to zero so you'll know that there was no last pulse that occurred and the pump is off. All Acromag Ethernet I.O. products always give you a built-in test page for easy checkout of the instrument after configuration. This page shows the counter test page for the 989EN-4016. Here you can see that the count and pulse time values for each of the first eight channels are being displayed in the white boxes. If alarms are enabled, the LED indicators will actuate. A manual push button is available on each channel to reset the alarms if latched. Lastly, there is a slide bar at the bottom of the box that allows the user to adjust the polling and rate update rate from the module. The digital I.O. test page is very similar to the counter test page. If you have discrete inputs wired to the channels, you'll get an on-off feedback via the channel LEDs. If you have outputs wired to the channels, you can control them with the channel control push buttons and watch the respective channel LED turn on-off as you control the output. Remember, these units have built-in readback capability for high reliable applications. For more information on Acromag's 989EN products, please go to www.acromag.com. Then, using the search toolbox, type 989EN. From there, you'll get, a fast, you'll get fast links to all the online support. Or you can email Acromag at sales at acromag.com or call us at 248-295-0880. To view an actual industrial grade 989EN-4016 instrument over the in internet, do the following. From your internet browser, type http colon forward slash forward slash 989.acromag.com. The web page to the 989EN demo should pop up right away. If not, try again at a later time or contact us at the factory. Next, try clicking into the network configuration field and you'll get a username password box. For the username, type user, capital U, lowercase ser. Note the field is case sensitive. For password, type the word password in all lowercase. You should be in and available to navigate through web pages. Thank you for your time today, and we hope you found it useful. 
If you have any questions, feedback, or require application assistance, please let us know.